14th of June 1986 is a date that shocked theme park fans worldwide after a horrific roller coaster accident which became Canada's worst ever theme park disaster. This is a story of the Mindbender roller coaster crash. The Mindbender roller coaster was located at West Edmonton Mall in Alberta, Canada. At the time of its opening, on 15th of September 1981, the West Edmonton Mall was the largest indoor shopping mall and remained so until 2004. The centre included the world's largest indoor wave pool, the World Water Park and the world's largest indoor lake. But also included in the enormous mall was Fantasyland, a huge indoor theme park which was renamed as Galaxyland after objections from the Walt Disney Company. And at the heart of Galaxyland was the Mindbender the world's tallest indoor roller coaster, standing some 145 feet tall. Mindbender was a triple looping roller coaster, based upon a design by Schwarzkopf Industries, the German roller coaster and theme park ride manufacturer, and designed by the world renowned coaster designer Werner Stengel. The triple loop, or Drier looping in German, was a design used in many theme parks and travelling fairs around the world. Schwarzkopf had designed the first modern vertical loop coaster, the New Revolution at Six Flags Magic Mountain, and the triple loop was an extension to those designs, featuring three vertical loops. Mindbender opened to the public on December 20th 1985, and quickly became a firm favourite of customers of the theme park. The ride's layout featured many twisting drops, three vertical loops and a double upward helix finale. The ride twisted underneath, in between and around its supports. Originally, Mindbender had four car trains running along the track, and at the time of the accident had lap bars to hold in the ride occupants. On the evening of 14th of June 1986, ride operators noted noises coming from the train as it negotiated the track. The ride was shut down for half an hour whilst maintenance crews inspected the ride, but when empty trains were sent around the track, no further noises were heard and the ride reopened. A train full of 16 passengers was midway through the ride, approaching the third and final vertical loop, when the fourth car of the train derailed. The car swayed from side to side, and as the train entered the final loop, the train slowed down, unable to complete the loop due to the increased friction on the track. The car slid backwards down the track, and the detached train crashed into a concrete pillar, stopping the train abruptly. Four passengers were violently ejected from the car, with the lap bars proven inadequate. Sadly, three of the four passengers who fell from the car died from their injuries. Tony Mandrusiak, his fiance Cindy Sims and David Sagar. David Sagar's best friend Rod Chaco was the fourth person thrown from the car, and laid hidden from view for a while until found by rescuers. Rod miraculously survived, but endured horrific injuries, including shattering his lower legs, crushing half his left shoulder, and breaking his feet, pelvis, lower back, and every rib on his left side. The remaining passengers all received minor injuries. An investigation into the accident immediately commenced. The probe later determined that four cap screws holding the wheel assembly together on the fourth car failed, which was likely the result of designed flaws and unsatisfactory maintenance routines. The three fatalities on the day made the Mind Bender Canada's worst roller coaster accident, and the world's third worst due to mechanical failure, behind the accidents on the Big Dipper at Battersea Park in London in 1972 and the Big Dipper at Krug Park in Omaha in 1930. You can find links to videos about both of those accidents below. When Mindbender reopened in January 1987, the ride had been redesigned. The existing four car trains were converted to three car trains, and anti-roll back features were also installed. Two additional wheel assemblies were added to each car, as well as additional shoulder restraints. Rod Chaco campaigned for decades to have a memorial installed for the victims, appealing to the mall owners Triple Five group, but none materialised. 
the ride ran successfully for another 36 years, until on January 30th, 2023, the ride was closed and dismantled, bringing an end to Galaxyland's most infamous ride. And that concludes our story about the Mindbender disaster. Thank you to the more than 1,000 people who have now subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't, please like and subscribe and leave any comments below on what you think about this accident. Thank you for watching.